Often when we talk about educational inequity, one of the ways that we frame the problem is that children who are bilingual who speak languages other than English at home are disadvantaged by that. And the study that I'm talking about today takes the opposite approach. So what if bilingualism is an asset, it's an advantage, and it's one that is just not being taken advantage of by schools and teachers? I'm Leah Duran, and my paper that I'm talking about today is Audience and Bilingual Children Building on Strengths. The purpose of the study was to understand biliteracy better, and specifically bilingual children's writing development. And we did this using a design-based research study, or formative design study, in which I worked with a, one teacher to implement, to design and implement a curriculum for her bilingual Latino first grade students in an ESL setting. And as we, as the teacher implemented this curriculum, I using qualitative methods, documented and observed and interviewed students and collected artifacts like student writing over the course of the year. And some of the things that we found that were very interesting were the ways in which children were very skilled at responding to their audiences. So students used language very strategically and skillfully, so they chose Spanish or English or both Spanish and English depending on who their intended reader was. And students also were very uh, responsive to their audience in ways that extended beyond just choice of English or Spanish or both, but in terms of using rhetorical strategies and in using design features like color and art. And so one of the things that we that seemed to be true was that you, writing for authentic audiences, for real people, allowed students to tap into this understanding of who they were writing for and how to respond to them, so one of, one of their strengths. Uh, suggesting that this might be an approach worth further exploration in the future.